Hey guys, Wobo here and today we are back with another video for you guys and in today's video I'm going to be entering the 6th prestige in Black Ops 3 Zombies. We've been prestiging every week for the past 4 weeks I'm pretty sure. I have no idea but you guys uh, seem to really enjoy these videos so I'm going to keep making them for you and we're currently at prestige 5 level 35 so it's time to prestige and if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. As always, there will be a playlist in the description to where you can go and click and you can see all the previous Prestige videos. I do have a playlist and I'll put it in there. I think the first one got about, you know, um, a thousand views or something. I know it was crazy and you guys really seem to enjoy these videos. Now, without further ado, what I'm going to do is take you through what gobble gums I use, what weapon kits I use, and then Prestige. So, with gobble gums, I use the cashback, which spawns a free max ammo. It's pretty self-explanatory. I then have this gobble gum. I can't even pronounce that, but you know what I mean. Um, it does have two activations, and it activates for 60 seconds, which means you can pack a punch your weapon, uh, but, uh, but for 60 seconds. It's really only good for the lower rounds, like round three, and you can go and get this. It's really good. I then have the level 35 gumball. As always, it's a good gumball. In plain sight and stock option are the new ones I've been using. So with these gumballs, uh, especially stock option, it's really handy. I never thought I'd actually use it. I thought uh, it's really bad. You get it like you know when you prestige, really bad. But I think it's really good. So I'm going to be using this way more. It's really good for Shadows of Evil, especially when you don't have Speed Caller. Um, you don't even have to reload, and it's really good. So those are the gobble gums I've been using. Moving on to uh, weapon kits, uh, I've been using the M8A7 to uh, rank up. I've been using this the whole time. Always been using the KN44, but I switched to the M8A7 just because I needed to rank it up, get red hex on it. Um, this is a four round burst assault rifle, so it's really good. It's really only good for those people who like to spam the trigger a lot. It's really good for the catwalk, I think. So I've uh, been using this to rank up, and I think I've been using the ICR. Yeah, I've been using the ICR a lot. So those are the two weapons I've been using to rank up. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much just what I've been doing to rank up. I've been switching weapons. I think I ranked up the Gorgon and the BRM, so that's I've been using those for a few games. Um, and if you guys know, uh, if you guys don't know, the best um, kind of map to rank up so far is the Giant. But I've been uh, looking at Shadows of Evil, playing a lot of Shadows of Evil, and I've been going for headshots, and I get up like five rounds in a in a high round game, so like getting to round 40. So. I don't know which one's better, but I think just Shadows of Evil is a way a lot uh, just fun in general. So, that's what uh, what I've been using to rank up. Going on to statistics, we go to barracks. Um, looks like we've gone up in the average rounds. I am round, my average round or slash game is 10, which is pretty good. Uh, survived rounds is uh, over 3,000. Uh, with kills, it's over 90,000. Headshots are doing pretty good. Average game scores doing pretty good. And I think went down in the score per minute I have no idea but that's pretty much it going on to leaderboards we're doing pretty good we're still coming uh, you know um, what are we coming we're coming third Mr. T Lex 5 coming second and my boy Dammy Baby, Dammy Baby is coming first so look at all these I'm still coming th uh, third on everything which is pretty decent you know you still got like the same things I, oh no I'm coming oh Oh, I think I went up. I went up uh, with explosive kills. I like to use them for the first room only challenges and stuff like that. Uh, with the revives, I'm not doing too good because I don't play it online. Distant travel, I'm coming third. Doors opened, I'm coming like fifth. And perk of coal is used, I'm coming fourth. So, it's turned out to be pretty good. Um, that's about it. Now go on to Prestige 6, babies. Let's do this. I am excited. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Look at that emblem. It looks really sick. Can't wait to use it. So let's enter Prestige 6. Bada bing, bada boom. Congratulations, you are Prestige 6. Look at that emblem. That just looks really good. Uh, I think it's better than the Prestige 5 emblem. I thought the Prestige 5 emblem was really good until I got to Prestige 6, and this just looks a whole lot better. So, one permanent unlock. I'm going to use it. And I think I want to use it on a gobble gum. No. Yeah, gobble gum. So, let's look. What, what can we use? Anywhere but here, oh, there's some there's some good ones. There are some good ones, but I'm seriously think I, I think I want to use a weapon, but I really don't. All right, let's just go anywhere but here. It's it's decent. Let's use that. Permanently unlock that bad boy, and I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that's it. Uh, prestige six level one. 
So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it and want to see more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. I just want to thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me on my videos. It's been, it's been madness. Uh, you guys really seem to enjoy these videos, the, the funny moments and the pack of orange videos. So I'm going to keep doing them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video guys. Peace out and goodbye.